All right, I'm gonna join a low population server and see if I can uh, get everything started from scratch. Just to kind of like a little bit of a guide slash walkthrough of how to get everything started without using anybody else's materials. Uh, these steps, some of these steps can be like removed depending on things that you find. Uh, most of them probably could, but just for the purpose of the video, we're not gonna use anything we find. We're just gonna use what we make ourselves. So let's load in. It's a very bad biome we are in, but we can go ahead and make a sharp rock. Uh, if we had a branch nearby, we could make our basket really quick with that wheat. Try to stay out of the snow because we don't really have any berries yet, and snow biomes make you lose food faster. We're just gonna head straight north. Gonna try and pick one direction. All right, here's a berry. Um, I'm thinking about grabbing one of these branches and going down there and uh, making a basket real quick. Uh, it might actually be what I do. I'll grab a straight branch. I think I could probably make another sharp rock down here, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Hopefully. We can keep walking. There we go. Set our sharp or our uh, straight branch down. Make another one of these. Pop two of those. And we got yourself a basket. Go ahead and grab our sharp rock. Take it with us. And we're back up. And we can top ourselves off on that berry bush right here. I'm gonna try and get this milkweed stalk. Um, I'll go grab the other one really fast while we wait for that to fruit. Because milkweed is a severe bottleneck in this game. It's always good to have as much of it as you can. Go ahead and turn it into string, make it a little bit more compact. Probably even turn it into rope once we get another uh, Another string. We're gonna go top ourselves off on this berry bush. And now we're going to skirt the edge of this grass biome and hopefully find a marsh biome. If not, we will have to continue searching elsewhere. Let's see what we find. Doesn't look like we're gonna find anything, so let's just go straight north. Like, ooh, that's a bear. We got lucky by clipping. A lot of predators in this grass biome, which is not good. Um, gah, these grass biomes seem to be surrounded by useless biomes. Not useless, but useless for getting started. Let's just put it that way. A lot of soil there. It's without, without any X or without any tools, we can't make uh, can't make wells, which renders those places basically useless. All right, let's keep going north. Try to avoid the snow biome as much as possible. Here's a marsh biome. Oh, that was that marsh biome was huge, guys. Gigantic. Um, let's see. We're getting really unlucky with biomes right now. Very, very unlucky. Hopefully we can at least, if we do find a suitable spot, get our farm set up before we die of starvation. Uh, I kind of want to wait for that milkweed, but at the same time I want to... Wow. <laughs> These biomes, man. They're, uh... <laughs> They're becoming troublesome. Go ahead and hop off since we found a berry bush. This grass biome looks a little bigger, so hopefully we can find. There we go. Sort of. Not really. We have one pond. We got a few ponds there. Ice biome in between. It's not the greatest thing in the world. And 
and we've got somebody still doing yard work next to me, and I thought they'd stop since they didn't do anything for an hour, but apparently they are back, and in full force. Alright, I think I'm probably just going to settle in here. Um, we're going to see if we can find any berry bushes. Without those, we might just starve to death before we get set up. Mm. We're not going to use this person's thing, even though it looks like he does have some useful stuff. But, uh, we will remove temptation. Temptation. settle in here. So we're going to see if we can settle in here. I'm actually going to have to get started pretty pretty fast with this one, so I'm not going to be using my normal method. Um, I'm going to have to put down this stuff as fast as I can. I'm going to go ahead and split these, make it easier to put storage around them. And I'm gonna need clay now. Should probably bring a sharp rock with me. I know I saw some clay out here in this marsh biome. That's a pine tree. Let's see. I swore I saw some. Maybe I'm just seeing things. I'm pretty sure when I'm skirting the edge, I saw like a little mound of clay. We are gonna starve to death. Um, probably. There's just not enough food around. I like this berry bush again. We're gonna see if we can find another berry bush to go to. Okay, there's another one further south. That's good. Um, let's see. I know I saw some play. Where it was, I, there it is. Okay. And it's close enough to this where we can make a... We need three adobe. Hmm. To make our kiln. Make our kiln. So that we can make pots, or bowls, bowls, to um, water our uh, our crops. You can either make bowls or you can make water skins, and the materials that we have, it's probably better for us to make bowls. We don't really have time to go hunting and all that. Go ahead and sharpen another rock. And we're going to have to make a mad dash it down to get food again. set this here. I'm actually going to set this out and grab multiple berries while I'm down there. That we don't have to make this mad dash again. If we can make it down there this time, that is. Buzzer beater. Barely made it. Actually, here's one that's even further away. I'm going to top off. Food bar. back up here. Set our kiln up a little bit further away. Helps to build it next to a fir tree, just to get tender to make fire. Fortunately, I don't see many maples around. I'm really looking, but we can take a leaf from there to make fire as well. Now we have our kiln. I'm gonna set all this stuff out. I'm gonna go back, grab a basket full of clay to make into wet bowls. Let's go grab a basket full of clay. That one's empty. And there we are. Basket full of clay. Probably turn that skewer into a hole marker really fast as well. 
We'll do it in a sec. Go ahead and make another sharp rock really quick. And we have a home marker. Get everything ready to make a fire bow drill. Go down and grab some berries. Grab this along the way. We're gonna need rope. Ugh, I think that one changed at the last second, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and make this into some string. Oops. That away from the tree to make another one respawn. Alright, this should be all we need. Ooh, let me grab that really fast. Eat that. Make a rope. I don't know a string again. We need this, and all we need is a straight branch. I'm gonna pull these away from the trees. If you pull them away, then they'll respawn. I'm gonna trim this down to a short shaft. Now all that we need, we're gonna grab another small rock small stone make it into a sharp rock we need another piece of rope unfortunately I should probably grab our basket eat these berry the ones I've pulled out and we're going to need another well another piece of string because we have an extra string I think there was another milkweed. There it is. Two milkweed. Oh, three milkweed. And we got a rabbit field over there. This might not be so bad. This might not be such a terrible spot. Alright. Now we're going to put this back up there and we're going to take a straight shaft, but we're going to top off on berries first. Because we do not need to starve to death now that we actually have something somewhat going. If there's any further down, there's some. The basket down. one of those straight shafts. Let's go do that. Grabbing a straight shaft. We're going to turn this into a short shaft. We're going to tie it at a sharp stone. It will give us something to make kindling, which is what we need for fire. We also need to make tongs. I have a couple branches. One died up there. Having a couple branches. Now we need a straight branch. Sell one over here. And we're gonna need to come back and grab some of that right there. Our basket. Grab a sharp rock. Go ahead and eat. Berry, just to keep us going. And we're gonna grab a flint. We need to make tongs. We don't have tongs, we can't make our bowls into uh into cooked bowls or into hardened bowls. And now we have our tongs. Go ahead and chop this up into kindling. Put one into our kiln. Form these into bowls. I'm gonna go down and grab a basket of berries. Go 
without clothes, your food goes down extremely fast. Um, you always seem to be, you always seem to have to be next to food. Alright. Now all we need is a little bit of, um, what is it called, tender and our leaf. I think we still have a straight shaft. If not, we'll have to go grab one. Yes, we need a straight shaft again. Another straight shaft. Grab these ones I pulled out. Sharpen it up. There we are. Now we need a leaf. Some tinder. Use our fire bow on the straight shaft, leaf on the straight shaft, leaf on the tinder, add our kindling to our tinder. Berry, light our kiln. Now you can make more bowls than just three, and sometimes it's better to do that because then you can have more people water. Set this over here. Load up our bowls. Lot. Go ahead and fill them. The uh, pond will refill for us. Now we need some seeds. I saw a bunny rabbit field over here. All we need is one seed. There. Having multiples, good, but you only really need one, because then you can just grow it and then seed it. Let's go back up. And after I water this, I'm just going to go ahead and grow some carrots, just so I don't starve. I'm not going to leave any to seed. I've got a carrot, or I've got a, uh, I have a wild carrot farm, or a wild carrot down south, so I can just use that. Grab some more uh, seeds. Now I'm gonna finish actually getting soil from my farm, now that that's growing. Actually make this what I usually make, which is nine food rows and um, one seed row. I'm not going to plant it in the uh, snow biome, so instead of making it uh, thicker, or instead of making it wider, like my rows wider, I'm going to have to grab some berries, aren't I? Yep. The berry, there you go. Go down. I can find one that has... I thought I had... What's it called? I thought I had more down here. Seems not. Grab more off that one berry bush, but that's the case. I hope our uh, crops grow pretty quick. We're just going to do what we can to stay alive while we wait for the carrots to uh, grow. I sworn there was one with more berries on it, but I haven't respawned yet. There's these two. Let's see, there we go. There's one with quite a few. That should be, that one bush should give us a long enough lifespan to uh, make it to where our carrots go. They're growing right now, actually. Sprouting, at least. Let's get this finished. that out right there or Ugh. 
You know what? We're just gonna do it how I usually do it. I'm a stickler for details. I was trying not to keep it in the snow biome because you do lose food faster here. Grab one more soil. Set it a little bit of a ways away from where we're working. Go down and grab the rest of these berries off of this bush. There it is. And once we do this, I think I'm gonna go look for some reeds. I think there was a bunch northeast. I'm gonna grab a seed too. Now that I thought about it, I could re I could seed my seeding row. Seed. That way, replant all of my uh, all of my crops. All right, so we're gonna plant our seeding rail. Set that out. Unfortunately, we don't have any baskets, so we're just gonna have to drop them on the ground. Make sure we don't lose any of this soil. There's no reason to. Now we are going to water our seeding row. We're going to let that go all the way to seed. I'm going to grab a sharp rock. The one should be a round rock. I can make it into a sharp rock. There we go. And we're going to make some baskets. Wish there was more storage options in the game right now, but sadly there is not. So, baskets and boxes. Boxes require tools, baskets do not. So we don't waste that one. There we go. See so if you split your rows how I have them split right now. You can put more baskets between the rows and later boxes. That way you don't run out of storage. The next step to this is actually more farming, unfortunately. Um, so we are going to need milkweed. We need milkweed. Out of it. Milkweed doesn't have to be right next to water. You should only have to water it once. You should pick it right. Only pick it when it's fruiting, and you should be good. It's actually a really good spot because it can be expanded pretty much indefinitely over here. 
like a lot of open spaces and not many tile blockers. Soil. We can pick that one too once it's fruiting. And uh seed all our rows. Hoping I can find a little bit more soil. Period. Up here too. Butt long up here. Probably means somebody's built around here. Quite a few butt logs actually. Yep, there's bloody setup. You're not going to use their setup. Besides, he built a little too far. I will, however, steal his soil because it didn't look like he'd started compost, so his soil is probably from one of the one of these. It hasn't respawned. But actually, you probably don't even need to. It's too bad your character doesn't have the dexterity to hold three full water bowls in your basket. But I guess then water uh water flasks or water skins basically be worthless. There'd be no point to have those over, uh, over bulls. Looks like that seating row is almost done. Put our carrot down between where we're working. food. Get quite a large rabbit area over there, so when the time comes, hopefully getting clothes won't be too difficult. Farming should always be your first endeavor, and um, clothes, once your farming is done, should always be your second. I always go milkweed second, which is technically farming, which is one, because if you have all of this milkweed here, it makes it way easier to make your clothes, not having to run around looking for, uh, looking for, uh, string. And two more. some soil over to the farm because I know that when that seeds I'm going to lose the soil like I'm getting pretty gray too Let's swap for this bull all right now wherever that milk we went there we go now we're going to seed this place probably bring a basket Make this a little bit more efficient. In fact, I probably will. Ask it full of food. This whole thing seated. Keep in mind if you were in a more populated server, you would probably, during the setup stage, would have been giving birth. Um, I'm just past the age. Like, you can still give birth right before you get full head of gray hair. Um, 
if I gave birth now, uh, well, I can't give birth now, but yeah, <laughs> basically this place would be gone. Um, but like I said, this is just for setting up. If I'd been trying on a real server, I would have used the materials that I had found at other bases. All of this would have gone much, much quicker. Gotta find another milkweed. Might just end up having to water ours, waiting for it to uh, grow. Seems like that might be what we have to do. Luckily, they grow pretty quick. So, let's go ahead and do that. Now, like I said, this is far away from the water, but we should only have to do this once. I'm gonna water a couple of them like that. That way they will grow. Go ahead and reseed. Now, like I said, nine food rows, one seed row. Or you can scale it up by using that same thing. So 20, uh, 20 rows total. Um, 18 for uh, food, two for seeds. Seeds every single row and itself, like that. Be rather nice to have water skins at this point, but. We don't have the rope snares, we don't have the uh, string to actually make the water skins. We've got one string over there. Right now, we need to get this thing back in stable order. We need to get some more food. And I'd like to make some more baskets too, but it doesn't seem to be that many reeds around here either. All of this changes once you get tools. Now that wells are fixed, uh, wells and cisterns actually help a great deal. We don't start it out. Running through the snow biome is killing my food. just four food bars, but four food bars does make a difference. And we're going to water the rest of this. We can avoid the snow biome, but it looks like it extends southward as well. Baskets as soon as I finish. If we have time. If I had have had a child, which is right now I think I'm the only one on this server, so I don't think that would happen. Um, all of these stages would go much faster, but then you have to also think the food demand would be double. Uh, so we would have had to have started the farm back. Started the farm going again, 
much sooner than we did. Snag some berries. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one. Um, yeah, there they are. There we go. Getting old. Let's see if I can. Oops. Take a basket or two out here. I have to bring a branch. That's not one that we need. There we are. Unfortunately, you have to thresh the weed before you can actually make it into a basket. Kind of sucks. some food really fast before we start to death. So there were berries north. There they are. Get in there. There we go. And as long as we die of old age, we will respawn where we died, or very, very close to where we died. So that's our goal right now, so that we can continue doing this and giving our little to do. Usually I have more setup in one life, but it took us quite a while to actually find the spot. <laughs> the biomes were not nice to us. It rather difficult. Suitable area. I wonder if we can find any more reed. Not much. I'll chop it just to bring it, but. Ooh, hello, wolf. Back down here, need this berry. Well, it doesn't look like we have very many reeds. Even when they do start to respawn, we can really only make like a few baskets. That's gonna despawn. Storage is at a premium. I need that basket to get some more uh, fertile soil. Luckily, even though we're just throwing our carrots down on the ground, we can still eat them later. Little dirt never hurt, right? If we had a shovel, we could dig that patch up right there. We're gonna go grab one thing of fertile soil. Right up here. And then we're probably gonna finish watering our uh, watering our uh, our milkweed. 
these have already grown, which is good. As soon as one of these, I'll go grab some water in the meantime, but as soon as one of those fruits, we are going to pick it and reseed the rest of the rows. Let me keep an eye on it. Okay, so there we go. Fruiting. I'm actually going to go ahead and pick them all. Grab us some food so we don't starve to death. Pick up the carrot, please. Thank you. Take some of these down here with us. Now you can see how milkweed farming is hugely beneficial. Like, I got the amount of milkweed that it took me the entire game to pick in that short amount of time. Grab some more water. So the next stage of this, once we get all of this milkweed watered, is going to be hunting some rabbits, because we desperately need clothes in our next life. The second we get a full set of clothes, we don't have to constantly be worried about food. with a full set of clothes, those carrots that we picked, uh, or those carrots that we grew, uh, honestly, like, one, one harvest might even last an entire lifetime. We have five more. Five more to water. Ooh, it can be close. There we go. Might actually, just to be careful, come up here and grab some more carrots. Oh, there we go. Game didn't want me to pick that one up. We're gonna water all this. We're gonna reseed our farm to get it ready to grow again. Then we are going to make some snares. This is a lot of running back and forth. I'm gonna try and eat before my uh. Before my thing gets down to one, when you get in this older age, um, your food drops really fast, so, like, you can be at one and be dead before you even know it. Like, we only need to water one more, which is great, because down to seven possible food bars. I need to run back ASAP. Food is dropping extremely quickly. Now I don't even have the warning. We're on our last legs. Oop, we missed our bowl. We need to get back up to our carrots really quickly. All right. We might not even have time to reseed, but we will see. We will do what, what we can. I mean to pick up that. Now if you have clothes, you do not want to die on your farm plots. You will lose all your clothes because they have nowhere... They have no open space available to travel to. And they drop. Beneath 
That's Karen. We are definitely on our last legs, people. Five health bars and counting. Good thing is our uh, milkweed's growing. Seeing if I can find the other stray chaffs while we're dying of starvation. It doesn't look like it. Oh, drop it. Ooh, that was close. That was a close one right there. We're actually just gonna stay around here. If we die of starvation, you lose your spot, basically. Um, you have to die of old age. Otherwise, you do not respawn where you died. So we're just gonna wait out the old age process right here. Which is basically what you need to do in an actual game, especially if you have clothes. You wanna die at a spot where people can find your clothes so they can reuse it. So there we go, we died of old age. Now I should respawn close to where I just died. And there you have it.